Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. Today, I will make three quick Korean side dishes using zucchini. As you can see, I got many zucchinis from my friend's garden, so I decided to make different sides with them. First, we will make a simple zucchini side dish called ehobak namul in Korean. To make this savory dish, we will make some broth with this dried kelp and red anchovies. If you are a vegetarian, you can skip the dried anchovies. Since I'm going to discard the anchovies later, I will put them in this bag. I have small, medium, and large sizes, and today I will use the medium size, which looks like this. Open the bag and put the anchovies in it, and then close the top like this. Add the water, kelp, and the dried anchovy pack into a pot. Once it starts to boil, cook for 3 minutes on high. Meanwhile, let's chop the vegetable ingredients. Chop the zucchini not too thick or thin like this. Cut the onion into a similar shape as the zucchini. And finally cut the hot pepper too. 3 minutes later, remove only the kelp from the broth. Add the zucchini and onion into the broth. Then add the minced garlic, salt, and cooking oil. Cook for 3 to 5 minutes on high or until the zucchini becomes soft. Add the hot pepper and cook for another minute. Depending on how spicy you like it, adjust the amount of hot pepper. After a minute, turn off the heat. In this step, you can remove the dried anchovy pack or you can just leave the cooked dried anchovy and eat. Drizzle the sesame oil on top. Sprinkle some sesame seed on top before serving. So, our first dish is done. Now, let's move on to this delicious Korean zucchini fritters called Ehobakchan. First, julienne the zucchini. Slice the zucchini thinly and then cut the slices into thin strips like this. Finely chop the onion. You can get very fine onion pieces if you chop your onion like me. I love a little bit of spiciness in my chan, so I will also finely chop the red hot pepper. It is also good for making it have an appetizing color. In a bowl, add a flour, salt, and an egg. Then pour the cold water into it. Mix everything together. The consistency will be like this. Now, add the vegetables into the batter. Mix all of the ingredients together and it is ready to fry. Before frying the jam, I want to make some soy dipping sauce, so simply mix the soy sauce and the vinegar together. Next, in a generously oiled pan, put one large spoonful of the batter and spread it to make a round shape. Fry them until both sides of the fritters become nicely golden brown. For the last one, let's make this gourmet looking zucchini side dish. I will call it Ehobak Wuchim. Slice one or two zucchinis into quarter inch thin pieces. You will need about 3 cups for this recipe. Next. Prepare some vegetable ingredients for the sauce. You can use red and green sweet peppers, but I want to use red and green hot peppers to give it some heat. Finely chop the red and green peppers. If you like the way I chop vegetables, please give me a thumbs up. 
In addition to the peppers, you will also need finely chopped green onion and garlic. Now it's time to make a special sauce. For better flavor, I will add this salted shrimp to the sauce. If you do not have it, you can use fish sauce instead. Squeeze a spoonful of salted shrimp in a strainer to get about half tablespoon of liquid. A spoon works good for this process. Add the soy sauce, salted shrimp liquid, water, hot pepper powder, sesame oil, and sesame seed in a mixing bowl. Then add the chopped vegetables to the sauce and mix everything together. Drizzle a little bit of cooking oil in a heated pan and place the sliced zucchini in it. Fry the zucchini on medium-high for 3 minutes on each side. Place the fried zucchini on a plate and put about quarter teaspoon worth of the sauce in the center of each zucchini. If you want to simplify this step, you can just mix the fried zucchini and sauce together before serving. So all three of delicious zucchini side dishes are cooked. I hope you enjoy my simple yet delicious recipes. Eddie's Kitchen's Tip In Korean cuisine, we use lots of garlic. So for today's tip, I want to show you three different ways to mince garlic. Number one, use a knife with a wide blade like a chef's knife. Smash a clove of garlic with a blade like this and then finally chop up the smashed garlic cloves. I think many western chefs use this method. Number 2. Use a small knife like this. Cut a garlic clove into really small cubes. This method can get the garlic into really nice tiny pieces, but you need to have good knife skills to do it or you might cut yourself. Number 3. Use a large knife with a flat butt. This is my radar knife and I've been using this knife since before the beginning of Eddie's Kitchen. So if you ask me to recommend a knife, this is definitely my recommendation. It is affordable and the quality lasts a long time as long as you buy the matching sharpener. Anyway, with the butt, I pound the garlic clove like this. This method is my number one choice for mincing garlic because it is the easiest and fastest way to do it. What method do you use to mince your garlic? Or what method sounds the best to you among these three? Did you enjoy my recipes and cooking tips? If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye!